Okay, thanks for joining us once again for Art Studio. Uh, my name is Wayne Clements, your presenter, and we're going to go around our palette. We've got a few colours already here. So I'm just going to start with our titanium white, of course. We've got some uh, cerulean blue, some yellow ochre, I've got some volution violet, and I've tinted that with a bit of white as well. A little bit of orange there, not sure what to use it, we might use a bit. And also we've got some burnt umber, some nice darks there, we've mixed up some uh, Payne's grey and some beautiful greens. Now what I've used here is I've used a phthalo yellow green and that's it out of the tube right there as you can see. I've added a bit more yellow to it for this one and I've shaded that one with a little bit of dark. So we're just about ready to go. So we'll slip straight into it as you might have uh, guessed. We've already put a little bit of white very, very lightly over the areas of the light colour of the painting. So anything else around here is going to be darks. So we don't need to contaminate that area. Or we don't want to with our white. So we just remember that. So while we've got the brush in our hand, let's get into it. We're underway. A little bit of blue in the sky here. Uh, just gently crisscross that into your painting, just filling those holes as we go. Bring it down towards the centre so we can give us a little bit of a distance there. We don't want to block the whole painting out. I just sort of made this one up myself, this composition, so we'll see how we go. A little bit in the water as well back up in here, right up into the distance. So we're going to go, taking an eye right back up into the centre of the painting and just spread that yellow, that white, sorry, a blue over our white. And we're going to go into a little bit of darker blue there as we come down towards the front of the painting and even pick up a little bit of that green as well. So we're going to have a bit of a rapid going here. So we're going to have the water running down and trickling over some rocks. That's the plan anyway. A little bit of dark in the bottom there too. Just going to move that right across the bottom of the painting. So nice and dark so we can have that light water, running water over the top of the darks. That should look really good. Okay, so while we've got the brush in hand, we'll knock that one, we'll pick up another. And we're just going to pick up a little bit of colour for back in the distance there. And we're going to pick up a little bit of that darker one as well. So and just give it a little bit of a pat while you're at it. Just to make it look like a bit of a bush or something back in there, a little bit of a forest. Got our reflection in as well. A little bit of dark across the base there. Okay, and while we've got that there, we do really need to fan that because we will have this side coming in front of it so we won't be able to get to it later. So it's not a bad idea. Just think about what you're doing and how you plan out your painting. Well, we'll just Give that a bit of a fan straight away. Pick up a little bit of that light because we'll put a bit back in there as well and reflect that in there too. So that's given us a little bit of a reflection in there. Clean our brush, our fan. And I'm going to get just a little bit of a bank back in there. We could even put a bit, a little bit of our light over the top of it. So just using a bit of that Volution Violet. This colour is everywhere and it's always in the rocks. Beautiful colour, and we'll just put that over the top there as well. So, And if you like, you can put in a few tree trunks, like even scratch them in if you want, because these ones are way back in the distance. And if you're going to do that, just to make it look more realistic, make sure you get those reflections in the water as well. So a little bit of blue here now we're going to pick up and using our knife, just a bit lighter, just tint that with a bit of white, and we'll just run those through there. And as we come further forward with that, we're going to get a little bit of white on our knife now. And just a little bit back there as well. So just bring those colours forward. And before we go too much further, I'm going to slip straight into this brush we had a bit of green on. And I'm going to pick up a bit of that dark. Now this is where it gets scary. We're just going to swirl this around. I do get a lot of comments about this little process of painting. Everyone says, oh, he's lost the plot, he's stuffed it up. But It'll all come together, trust me. So it doesn't look much right now. And we need a little bit over there as well. I'm going to have some rocks in here. It's going to take our eye back towards the centre. So get those darks in, very important. And we need that reflection down there as well while you've got it on the brush. And you can pat that down like so. We don't want to get a set pattern with our brushes, so you can always a good idea to change your brushes. So you're not getting a set pattern across your painting like that. We're going to fix that up. That's fine. And just bring that reflection down into the painting as well. So pick up that dark. 
Once again, it's very important you don't get this too thick in the water. If you do, when you go to brush it sideways, you're going to have all sorts of trouble. So over this side, we can get that dark in. We're going to bring it right down. Going to be some rocks there and some rocks over here as well. And we'll just get that fan brush once again. And just fan that gently sideways. Same thing over here. We'll get a little bit of green in there later as well, but we just want to fan that first. Now we've got the body of the painting here. We've just got to fill that little gap over there before, first before we've got the body of the painting in. So don't make them even. Make one side higher than the other if you're if you're planning your own paintings, it's always a good idea. So we're going to take this one right up high and this one a little bit lower, just to give it a little bit of interest. Now we can go over those spots and we can pick straight up. We can go straight into our green and get a little bit of body going back in there. Now these are back in the distance, so they're not going to stand out too much. All we're going to do is make them different to that one. We were out of the light around the corner. We're going to use this darker green. And as we come around to where the light's coming through, that little gap in the trees, we're going to make them much lighter. So get those. And up at the top as well. So back around the corner is fine. So we're going to have some moss on the rocks over here as well. And a little bit there too. So we're going to go straight, having cleaned the brush, we're going to go straight into the lighter colour. In fact, I might use a smaller brush on that, just to give us a little bit of more definition in the painting. There we go. So we're just using an inch brush here now and just going to pat that out. There we go. Just roll that brush. Okay, we're not just blobbing it on. Very important that you just roll that brush and get them to look like something. But you definitely don't want that set pattern. So break it up, move them around, see if it looks interesting. It's all up to you. It's your judgment. That's what makes it such a personable thing, this art. It's so great. Everyone's you might be teaching people the same process, but everyone puts a little bit of a twist, their own personality into the painting, and that's what it's all about. That's what people want to see. You know good if I taught people to paint and everyone painted exactly the same. Okay, while we've got the paint on the brush, a bit of green in there now, starting to come alive very, very quickly. See how fast this can happen for you? We've got a little bit of colour on there, but that's okay. Just gently fan that. We don't want to wipe it out. And over here as well. And we're just about to come up to a break. So we've got the basis of the painting in here now. We're going to take a short break, going to come back and continue on. And hey, it's looking pretty good already. So we'll see you then. Mm -hmm.